A tragedy in Mooresville could lead to changes in a problem Channel 9 has been investigating since last year. Yeah, a one-year-old boy died this weekend. The golf cart that he was riding in hit a pothole and then it flipped over. This happened on Pintail Run Lane near Mooresville. A neighbors told Channel 9's Tina Terry they've been asking the state for help to improve that road for years. Hey guys, take a look. You can see what neighbors have been complaining about. There are large potholes all over this road. This is a private road, but neighbors say they don't have the expertise to fix this problem, and they've been asking for help from the state for years, right up until this tragedy. I was just devastated. Dave Sy rode as hard as with his neighbors tonight. Apparently it happened here. Highway troopers say this weekend a one-year-old boy was on Pintail Run Lane riding in a golf cart with his family. When the golf cart struck the pothole, it caused a mechanical failure within the steering mechanism, and that caused the golf cart to turn abruptly um, and overturn. The little boy died at the hospital. A bunch of neighbors and us try to patch some of these roads as they got worse through the years. State maintenance ends here, and the rest of the road is private. The last price we got just to put it back like it is is something like two hundred seventy some thousand dollars, and that's a, that's a, just a lot of money for you know each individual if you divide it up. That's just a fix what's there. They asked the state to take over maintenance of the road. But the state says we got to bring it up to state specs before they can take it over. Today, NCDOT sent me a statement saying, we're saddened to learn of this accident, but confirmed state law requires the road meet certain standards before NCDOT can take over maintenance. It's a problem I've investigated in other neighborhoods since last year. Communities in the Charlotte area couldn't repair dangerous private roads and found themselves walking long distances just to get home. Today, I contacted State Senator Vicki Sawyer from Iredell County, who pledged to try and find an answer for neighbors. We need to invite all the stakeholders to the table and try to get a common sense answer to a real public problem. Tina Terra reporting tonight. Now, the NCOD, NCDOT said for a road to be up to the standard, it has to be 18 feet wide and in acceptable, good condition, and it has to meet requirements for the number of houses. We also learned about something called the Paving Participation Program that allows neighbors to work with their county tax department to pay off the cost of bringing roads up to state standards over time.